it's the most astonishing verdict that, you know, such a resounding declaration by the judge in the States that, you know, the Assad regime has been found guilty on all counts of targeting the media, silencing journalism, killing Marie. I mean, it's, it's colossal. It's, it's, you know, everything that Paul Conroy, who Jamie plays, and Marie's sister, Kat Colvin, have been fighting for, and the Marie Colvin Journalist Network, and it's, it's just huge. Um, so we have the answer to that, and it's, and it's, it's, a, it's a very, very, very good day. As um, we speak. <laughs> yes, it's breaking, yeah, it's breaking news as we speak, but, you know, obviously at the time, we, you, you're telling a story, and you're, you know, you're not looking to the end, as it were, because, because you're playing the character, you know, who, who, who is anticipating you know, at least another, whatever, 30 years on Earth. What has Paul left you with, really, after, after taking him on? Um, probably a wrecked liver. <laughs> um, <laughs> fun socialising. Um, I've played, uh, I think I've played uh, real people, I'm going to say four times, but uh, never a one still with us. And boy, is he still with us. I mean, he's such a vital, <laughs> omnipresent <laughs> um, person, I feel like, in my life now. And, um, you know, it's just incredible to, to go on this journey with him by my side and with him by Ross's side. I mean, he was uh, totally invaluable to the making of this to, of this project. And, and to have his support above everything else was just huge to us, for, right from the start, to have his support. Mm. Um, you know, and then just his presence and energy on set, and his knowledge, and being able to tap into what was going through their minds in these in these you know critical moments that we're trying to depict. You don't get that every day on a film set. You know, I was so lucky, and um, and above, and he also brings a great humour and levity, and um, and uh, to to uh, he brought that to his work. Him and Marie had a brilliant relationship that was very much bound by by uh, the need to find the truth and by humour. And uh, he brought that on the set with him, which was, again, just so, you know, necessary, I think, when you're depicting something that's so um, heavy. You might care to react to We certainly that. would, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. quite jubilant and kind of astonished and sort of left reeling a bit. I, I, yeah. it's and Paul Conroy himself just told us, took us in before we started doing these interviews to tell us, so it's been... Uh, it's emotional. It's and very hard to not think of it at the moment, to be honest. Um, what do you think it means, really, for, well, for it, the it, family? Well, it means, and it certainly means something, it means something huge for Marie's family, but it also means which Paul has been you know, very vocal on in the Q&As that we've done with him, is that you know, it's a real setback to the rehabilitation of Assad mm -hmm. on the international stage. Um, you know, this is a declaration and a verdict on the deliberate targeting of free speech and journalists and the targeting of media, the media centre and the murder of, of, of journalists. Um, uh, not just Marie, um, but uh, it's... it's 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 huge. I mean, it's you know, if we've seen it with Paul. It was incredibly emotional. Paul just telling us just now. It's what he's been fighting for with such resilience. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. since since he escaped from Homs. Thank you so much. Thank Why you. Good. Why was it so important for you to, to to play her? I don't know. Sometimes you just have a kind of deep instinct about mm. somebody and a connection with them. And and I, it, it's curious because there's not you know, very much that we have in common. But, um, you know, I had this sort of, I don't know, a kind of uh, a deep instinct that I understood something fundamental about this woman. And, and, mm. and, and that you kind of can't ignore. It doesn't, you don't ignore it. it and, and, and I met Matthew Heinemann after a screening of his documentary and I ended up writing him this kind of spew out of all my thoughts and he, he sent it back to me just before we opened in America and I read it and I said, who, sorry, who, what's this? Who wrote this? <laughs> and I had absolutely God. no recollection of writing it and I had to go into my computer and, and I found it and I clearly did write it <laughs> but it was almost like a kind of, I don't know, something, I don't know what it was but it, I had no mm. real connection with it but it was sort of, fierce and fundamental and so I, I don't know it was like a kind of I'm I'm trying to avoid the word calling because that <laughs> clearly is not the right one but I'm trying to find a substitute yeah. that 
Um, anyway, it was, it, it was, yeah, I don't know what it was, but it, 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 it was the beginning of a deep relationship with someone I will never meet. And that is a very mm. odd thing to have experienced because I feel like I have got to know someone very intimately who I can never meet. And I've never had an experience quite like it. What Marie would make of the era of fake news, because unfortunately Gosh. she died really before it. It was upon us, but have you? You must have probably thought about what a, a truth seeker like like her would, would make of this era that we live in. Yeah, I mean, I think Marie was always, you know, she had her true north, which was, you know, she would seek out her truth, and she would, and she didn't care however powerful um, anyone was, she would speak the truth to to that power as she saw it. Um, you know, whether it was famously calling out the Assad regime as, as liars um, when she was in Homs, just before she died. Um, no, I think when Marie wrote for a Sunday paper. She's the complete opposite of the sort of sensationalist headline and kind of fakery. No, it's, no. it's sort of in-depth, solid reporting where she had time to embed with people and, and get a deeper story. I mean, she couldn't really be further from the world of fake news, but but it make it means that it's our film is coming out at a kind of very opportune moment. I think. Mm -hmm.